Yes, sir. I am a female. State of Texas versus Chardonnay Leanne Lockhart. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense. Andrew Frederick, Ms. Lockhart. Are you Ms. Lockhart? Yes. Right. Yeah. Council, have you received all the discovery that you review with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Lockhart, I'm showing you what's entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. I'm going to show you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, sir. I am a female. You keep saying yes, sir. No, I said yes, your honor. No, you said yes, sir. I said yes, your honor. I okay. Say, I, heard, I heard yes, your honor as well, Judge. Okay. All right. Are you proceeding on the one moment? Are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Uh, judge, we're going to go with the lesser included offense of attempt, attempted arson, recklessly causing damage. Okay. Any objection? No objection. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, you're right. She did say yes, Your Honor. I don't know why it sounded like sir. And my allergies are really, I apologize. My allergies are really acting up today. And Judge, I whispered to her that she needs to speak up and not see it. So no <laughs> okay. Questions. That's okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Because sometimes people always say that. And I'm like, what? All right. Um, did you understand the state is proceeding on the lesser included offense of attempted arson recklessly causing damage as a state jail felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. Actually, Judge, I believe, Judge, since it's attempted, uh, the arson recklessly causing damage is a state jail. And since it's attempted, it's a class A misdemeanor. Okay, why do you guys have this filled out as a state jail? It should have been changed. The first paragraph specifically should list it as a class. Payment. All right. So you all need to redo this piece of paperwork. Sure. And I would suggest that you use the felony paperwork. That way you can write it in because otherwise I don't have knowledge that she knows that it's a class A because that's not how how it's listed. That first paragraph should be should I wrote, I wrote A right next to it. That's my handwriting. First page judge, and it said range of punishment, and it listed up to a four thousand dollar fine up to a year in jail. Oh, okay, you are correct. Look at Every this. Once in a while, judge, Corrections are happening. I appreciate it. I hate to break you. Wrong. That's no, no. I, here's the thing. I always tell people make sure that if I'm saying something that's incorrect, to let me know. Okay. All right. So this is what uh, I'm going to need you all to do, though. Yes, I need her to initial it so I know that she knows because all of this is state jail felony paperwork. That's why I say okay. state jail. Yeah. Sure. Sorry about that, Judge. I saw that. I, I thought about using the other paperwork, but I didn't know if that was probably the better way. Or from now on, I'll probably try and do that. Okay. Because all this paperwork is state jail felony paperwork. I, I tried uh, crossing out. It was the felony, the discussion about the felony, the uh, felony mm -hmm. in possession of a firearm. And I thought I caught everything else. I think I changed everything to a Yeah, we, are, okay. we erased all of the stuff about the firearm possession because that doesn't apply because it's not a felony. Okay, let me, let me carefully read through the paperwork. Just give me a moment to make sure that everything is the way it should be. All right. All right. So we're back on the record. All right. They're charging you as arson as a class A misdemeanor. The range of punishment for that offense is up to $4,000 fine and up to a year in a Bear County jail. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court doesn't have to follow your plea. 
if for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, sir. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, sir. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, sir. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court only has the authority to sentence you up to one year in the Bear County Jail and up to a $4,000 fine? Yes, sir. All right. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Uh, if I could answer a little bit more, Your Honor. Yes, I do believe she does. She's mentally competent. Uh, she was uh, done a psych evaluation for competency a few months ago. Uh, she has been found competent after discussing the case with her today and last week as a jail visit. I agree she is competent. All right. So she's already um, been to the magistrate's court and they've deemed her competent? That's correct, Your Honor. All right. Do you believe she was sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lockhart, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, Your Honor. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, Your Honor. All right. The court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Okay. According to the plea, uh, the state is proceeding on the less included offense of attempted arson recklessly causing damage. They're recommending deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration county court cause number 634806, and there's to be a MIC evaluation. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Judge. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? Yes, Judge. I'm showing you the paragraph entitled Waiver of Appeal Paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand sure. it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Counselor, are there any such motions? There you are. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. State is recommending that your deferred adjudication be for a term of two years and there be a TAP evaluation. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, did you understand that those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, sir. All right. Then to the offense of attempted arson recklessly causing damage, how do you plead? Guilty? Not guilty or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? State offers state to the one and all attachments. No objections. Right. I'm going to show you what's entitled wavering consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses, statements, and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one in attachments and review the same. <laughs> All right, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? All right, Ms. Lockhart, if you're released from custody, do you have a place to live? Yes, Your Honor. Where? 738 North. No, no, I'm sorry, don't say the address. Oh, but who will you be living with? It's a property my father and father. Sorry, what? I'll be living by myself. Well, who? Whose property is it? My father's. Why were you not living with your father before during this incident? No, because I'm 30 years old. Well, no, here's the, the thing. I'm reading this and it appears, rightly or wrongly, the way I'm reading it, it appears that you were homeless. It says that you started this fire because you were trying to dry a blanket. So I'm wondering why you were not living well, no, that's what they say you told them. It's in the police report. So I'm trying to figure out why were you homeless 
And why would your father let you live with him now? Judge, if I could just have a second. Here's the thing, Ms. Lockhart, you need to be honest with me because I'm trying to figure out your conditions. And let me just tell you, one or two things are going to end up happening. If I don't believe you're going to be honest with me, this is going to be set for a PSI. You're going to be sent back to the Bear County Jail. They're going to do a PSI report and I'll get it when I get it, which will probably be within eight weeks. So you need to answer my questions and you need to answer my questions honestly. Now in this police report, Basically, it's implying that you were homeless because it said there were clothing and other items and that you lit this fire because you told them you were trying to dry your blanket. So this is what you stipulated to. I didn't force anybody to stipulate to it. That's what's in the police report. So why were you homeless if now you can live with your father? Um, I, was at, I wasn't at home, but I was not homeless. So why were you living in this field or wherever it was with your items? I have no idea. I don't okay. know how to answer that. All right, so why is she wearing yellow today? I'm pregnant. Okay, I, I just wanted to hear it. And how far along? Like 21, 22 weeks now. Oh. Judge, I... Uh... I didn't mean to be presumptuous, but I have been in this court once or twice before. I did tell her she was going to be taking a parenting class, which was theoretically outside. Of it, but she understands she's going to take the parenting class going forward. Because that's going to be her mark. All right. And there are, is she on medications at the jail? Yes, Judge. She was not on her medication at the time. Now she is on her medication. She's frankly a lot. She's definitely competent at this point in time. At the time, she was not being rational, but at this time, she is going to be successful going forward. There is a part about the mental uh, MIC caseload and her being interviewed for that. I believe that would be necessary. And she understands that being med compliant is going to be a part of that as well. All right, do you have any other children? Yes, I do. How many? Two. And where are they? Out of town with my family. And what are their ages? 11. They're both 11 twins? Mm -hmm. That's either yes or no. Yes. All right, this is what, um, is there anything else from either side? Is, do you know if she's receiving SSI now? All right, I'm gonna sentence you to two years deferred adjudication. I'm gonna want felony drug court referral. They should be able to do it because it's two years. And I'm gonna want a MIC evaluation. Those are to take place while in custody. And then I want to order a referral. If she's not approved to admit, I want a referral to a Center for Healthcare Services, parenting classes, <laughs> take in consideration county court cause number 634806. 80 hours of community service restitution. Once she completes parenting, that will be satisfied. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular UAs. And I'm gonna want a TAP evaluation in custody as well. If TAP rep recommends inpatient treatment, uh, we'll start her with intensive outpatient treatment. And I'm gonna want field visits one time per month until further notice. Uh, probation um, will do proof of employment within 30 days of release or proof of SSI within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And I'm sorry, instead of the uh, regular UA's probation, I'm gonna want the UA hotline with testing at least once a week. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, you don't. Counsel, do you think there's anything else your client needs? Um, there's nothing else she needs, Judge. We ask that the evaluations be done when she's out of custody. All right, that will be denied. I'm gonna show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. 
Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, yes, sir. Right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? All right, yes, Your Honor. All right, we can go off the record. Uh, was she not approved for mental health court? Uh, honestly, I can't put it off the top of my head, Judge. Since she's been um, in custody this time, mm -hmm. uh, we've conferred with the DA, and this is the attempt. She's got quite a bit of time, so this is our agreement that we reached. All right. She was approved. I know that she's being evaluated for mental illness at the MIC caseload, mm -hmm. being that it's a misdemeanor, but mental health court. I don't think that was the approach because it didn't, there wasn't an option to be a misdemeanor until we talked about the last week. All right. Probation, can you also do a referral to the mental health court and see if they'll accept her? My understanding, mental health court, it's sort of like PTD. So if they accept her and she completes it, then this will be as though it never uh, happened. So counsel, if they accept her in PTD and you all want to come back and ask for a motion yeah. for a new trial to withdraw yeah. her plea, yeah. then the court will consider that. That's what I was thinking ahead, Judge. And that's why my brain was going like, I don't know if it looked like I was rolling my eyes. Does that mean that she wants? Yes. Okay, all I'll right. explain so, that. So, um, Rashawn, if you can, you're welcome. Rashawn, if you can make sure she's referred to mental health court and tell them that even though she's entered a plea here, if they are willing to accept her, defense is going to file a motion for a new trial and the court will grant it. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you. I'll explain in a second what she's doing. It's really helping you out. All right, and they'll put you back in the box so probation can speak with you, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank Mario, you. you're welcome. Mario Miranda. No, she has probation. Just give me one moment. Computer's a little bit slow. All right. Are y'all ready to proceed? Uh, defense is ready, Your Honor. Yes, yes. All right. Court is calling 2022 CR 3597. I'm sorry. Y'all need to be silent in the box wearing the record. Uh, Ms. Kramer, that's okay. You can ask them to move your uh, client down to the other end. Court is calling 2022 CR 3597, State of Texas versus Chardonnay, Leanne Lockhart. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel S. Clark for the state of Texas. Defense. Uh, Mark Darwin for the defendant. And are you Ms. Lockhart? Yes, ma'am. Going to show you a document entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am, I did. Are you the same Chardonnay Leanne Lockhart who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2022 CR 3597? For the offense of attempted arson reckless causing damage on May 15, 2023, for a period of two years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Violate condition number four in Bear County, Texas. The defendant, Chardonnay Leanne Lockhart, did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of August and September 2023 in violation of condition number four. How do you please to that? True or not true? True. Uh, Your Honor, the state waives all the violations. Any objection? Uh, no objection, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to one year in the Bear County Jail and up to a 10, I'm sorry, and up to a $4,000 fine? Did you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The proposed agreement is for 272 days in the Bear County Jail 
and for this to satisfy the judgment since it's a class A misdemeanor. Right. All right. Has she done anything on probation? No, you're not. All right. Then why would, well, all right. So you've done nothing on probation. Probation, what are you requesting? Your Honor, um, after she was here last in court, um, she just did not show up anymore. So we were, I, we understand that there may have been or maybe some issues um, as far as may possibly homelessness and so forth. And we were going to ask just to amend for a moral recognition therapy, job skills training, and possibly um, the re-entry center for services. All right. And will this be set up while she's in custody? If I follow this? <laughs> We can't set up those things in custody, Judge. All right. All right. At the time, at the time Judge, just to also, I know you have your um, docket sheet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she was evaluated for DDRF. However, we could not do DDRF because at the time she was pregnant. Um, don't know what the what the um, status is of that is at this particular moment, but we just don't have enough to go off of to give any other recommendation, Judge. All right, Mr. Ms. Lockhart, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Yes, ma'am. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Chardonnay Lockhart. All right. Chardonnay Lee and Lockhart. All right. Ms. Lockhart, what's the status of the pregnancy? I'm not pregnant any further. Okay. Judge, she. I mean, um, how do you mean? Okay. All right. So here's my issue. I don't know if anybody wants to ask any more questions, but I'm not going to give her 272 days in the Bear County Jail. If she wants to be revoked, she can be revoked. I'll give her 365 days at the Bear County Jail, or she can. Uh, or I will follow the probation's recommendation. Um, Judge, it's uh, Ms. Lockhart's wish that you you do um, send her to 365 days in the Bear County Jail after revocation versus, um, you know, the alternative. Uh, she doesn't wish to make right, It'll be a $4,000 fine and time and money is not going to run concurrent. Because let me, let me just tell you, Ms. Lockhart, here's what the problem is. The problem is here is that you're on deferred for an attempted arson. You're homeless. You have no job. You've been staying from hotel to hotel. You're going to end up potentially, if I just send you out in the world, you're going to end up getting another theft case or something else is going to end up going wrong with your life if you don't get stable. The only thing that I can do other than continuing on probation is maxing you out. And the reason why I would max you out is because you have done nothing. And the reason why I will not run uh, time and money concurrent is because you have done nothing. So the choice is yours. I pay them. Well, then you can choose the uh, max maximum sentence of 365, tell the judge. Yeah, I'll tell the judge. Yes, what would you like to do? Okay, I would like to do the 365 and pay the $4,000 fine. All right. Are you waiving your right to appeal? You want to talk to her about that? Um, well, well, I did, and I filed the trial court certification along with the explanation um, uh, before she signed it. Um, so, as I told you, you're not going to be able to appeal your decision to enter a plea of true. <clears throat> um, so uh, you, you effectively waived it by uh, tendering that document. Well, Ms. Ms. Lockhart, you're not have a right to appeal. if you want the court to sentence you to the 365 days with a $4,000 fine, time and money not run concurrent, are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes, ma'am. All right. Court will uh, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you to 365 days in the Bear County Jail. 
give you credit for any time served. There's a $4,000 fine. The time and money is not to run concurrent. I'm gonna show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, ma'am, I did understand. All right, because this is plea bargain agreement because I followed your plea bargain agreement because you waive your right to appeal. You do not have the court's permission to appeal. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry, I'm coming for you okay. too. Good. I'm coming for right. you too. Right. Step out for me. For what? Step out. For what? You have a couple warrants. Step out. For what? Step out. I said stop. No. Yes. No. I already know who the. Let me speak to her. Well, she's not here right now. Yes, she is. I just saw her. I literally just saw her walking down the thing. I yelled to her. She's at the house. Oh, resisting my bullshit ass. Resisting my bullshit ass. Haley, is that you? 14502. Alright, step out for me. For what? Step out. For what? You have a couple warrants. Step out. For what? Step out. For. You have warrants. Step out. Warrants for what? They're with us. Send me another card. For what? For what? <laughs> For what? Yes, yeah, step it up. For what? I said you have warrants with us. For what? You're gonna get another charge for resisting arrest. I would have told you in a second if you would have just complied. Well, if you wouldn't have f***ing done this, then maybe I would have. <laughs> You're not cuffing me until you give me what the f*** I have to get off get off of me. Get off of me. Get the f*** off of me. Now. 19, I have Judy under arrest. Under arrest for what? Resisting. For what? Get off of me. Now. Get the f*** off of me. Now. <laughs> Try pulling her out the container. She immediately started fighting with me. Get the f*** off of me. Sorry, 19. Get the f off of me. Tell me what I have a warrant for. 19, cars can slow it down. Tell me what I have a warrant. Step in. Tell me what I have a warrant yeah. for. We're going to tell you, Judy, right? What's your name, Judy? Tell me. Okay, yeah, Kaylee, you. Judy. Tell me now. Alright. Tell me now. I saw her getting in the car and. Back. Yeah, it's an Uber, I think. You told her to go ahead with the warrant. Yeah. Well, I didn't, but. You can go ahead with the warrant. Tell me now. Well, we just asked, okay? We'll tell, tell you me. in a second. Don't tighten these. Well, oh, I see they're fucking loose on you. They're not loose. Stop. I said stop. No. Yes. No. I already know who the f you are. I don't okay. like you. Bitch. Okay. That's fine. You Quit tightening them. Because you're sticking your hand in it, trying to get your hand out. No, you're yeah. tightening them. Yeah, because you're trying to, you're sticking your fingers in them. So stop. What do I have a warrant for? You have warrants. We'll let for you know what? in a second. Relax. For what? 
You have a failure to appear out of us. And then I didn't hear what the one out of Lorraine County is for. Oh, Lorraine County one I'm working with them to get my dealer. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't have a warrant with Well, when them. I told you to step out, you didn't step out. Because That's you why were I, harassing me. Because I was trying to detain you because I knew you had warrants. Because you were, har you were, um... Is within my legal authority to detain you when I know you have warrants. Yeah. With what? Coming in with us, Lakewood. With what? Very weird. I didn't care on it. Because I was in the hospital. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me or anything? No. Okay. Yeah, they're in my bag. Yep. Jess. Get the over here now. I already dealt with it. We found heroin. So. What do you say? Get the. Over here now. Do you have anything on your pockets? Anything that's gonna poke me? Get the f over. No. You hear what you said? Jessica. Yeah. If you don't need them, I'll kick them away. Stop. Knock it off. I don't have shit on me. Spread your legs. I don't have shit on me. You. You do. I don't. It's not mine. That's okay. Who's pants for that? Yeah. It's not mine, it's for someone else. Oh, so you're dealing it to someone. No, I'm not dealing it to someone, jackass. Good. I don't have shit on me. I have both copies of the line. Several. Several. Switch. Sorry. My wallet. Don't take my wallet. Go through that. Yeah. We will. There. You're not taking my phone either. You're not taking my phone either. Jessica! Stop screaming. No. Make me. Okay, how about another ticket? I have nothing on me. Stop. Stop. I have nothing on me. You already had stuff on you, so. God, I hate you. Jess! Stop screaming, or you're no. going to get another ticket. Which one? A ticket for what? Disorderly, Disorderly conduct. conduct. A ticket for what? So scream again, and you're going to get another ticket. A ticket for what? Disorderly conduct, I told you. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Really? So if I scream again, I'm going to get another ticket? Yep. Yes. Jess! Oh, there it is. Whoop. Well, there we go. What's up? Don't worry, I'm coming for you too. Go good. I'm coming for you too. Right. Hey, get back inside, sir. Okay, Don't we'll worry, worry about it in a minute. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. If she was on their property, she's trespassed from uh, that house, so. Probably him. I don't know, I think. That's what she is. Mm -hmm. huh. yeah, charges. Yeah, resisting probably had that too. So I tried pulling out, detaining her, and she immediately turned on me and started fighting. Okay, resisting. Drugs. Drugs. Is it just paraphernalia, paraphernalia. or is no, this. No, there's that. You got. It's a pretty good amount, too. Yeah, good that's amount. quite a bit. He hit something in the back seat. I think he can't really If she was on their property, do you know? She's trespassed from there. So I, did anybody? Uh, I just, I knew you just it saw was, her over as here. As soon as I turned down the street, I knew it was She's her. trespassed from where? She's trespassed from her ex girlfriend's house. Okay. So. Um, I don't exactly know. 215. What's the residence that Judy is trespassed for over here? You want to stay with her then? So she's not dumping stuff in the backseat? Are you just an Uber driver? Yeah. Okay. Oh, a Lyft. Oh, you're a Lyft driver? Okay. What's that? 
whatever this guy was screaming about. Oh, those are security cameras. You want them to pop? It's probably been a step. Yeah. Hold up. No, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to continue. Hi. Right. Mm -hmm. Probably. Ah, Who's he? My husband. Your husband? What? Did she steal these from you? She undid them so she, he wouldn't see her at his car, I guess. But he was watching around the house and videotaped it. And I think the camera still works regardless because the... She... Okay, wait. I'm confused. I was sleeping. I just got home. But he, he was home? Yeah. Can, I, can we talk with him then? Bill! <clears throat> Is there a camera that was in the front of your house too? Because there's two. There's three, but she didn't see the third one. But yeah, there's one from the porch. So she came on your property, unscrewed your camera so she won't see you doing what? See her. She messed his whole van up. It's all busted up. Just now she did all Yeah. That? He has it on camera. Oh, there's this the, one? the yeah. mirror and everything. Oh. Where is hey where's Savage? Who's who's four beat? He is okay. Is whenever he gets a second, tell him to come over here. The last time they said uh, I need to get a protection order down at your police station. I went down there and the prosecutor. Yes. And 84. Okay. And 84. Hang on. So we, the prosecutors, I talked to them at the right police station. We put and no they said I had to order go on both of them. Yeah, to file down there because for a restraining order. Because you guys were building a case for a protect, temporary protection order. Okay. Yeah, because we had already trespassed. Yeah, her so from she's here. trying to take my kids by You came when she broke the window. Yeah, so I've, I've been here a couple times. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> multiple times she's threatened to call Children Protective Services on us. Okay. She's threatened to, like she just did again in front of you guys. He said that because there was no damaging of the property, that um, I couldn't do anything until she actually does something. Who said that? The officer that was here. Because the, the tire, she just let the air out. She sat there for oh, a half okay, hour, okay. let the air out. Did she do that to the mirror? She picked that white thing off the ground. Go in the house now. She was trying to break in the other side, and then came over to this side, and then started punching the, the mirror. Do you, have your, do you guys have your license on you? Yeah. It's in sorry. You need mine, too? Uh, yeah. If you, if you know what, if it's all, I can just get your Like, I literally just got home from my sister's bitch right party and went to sleep. From Florida. From Florida, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I told her, don't come here, you have no I, I know we probably, because I took a report from you a while ago, so we... videos. Yeah. You still got those cameras, but... What? You still got those two cameras. No, I, you didn't give them to me. Oh, I think they, they, were, they were on the, the porch. The right. So these are the ones with, uh, they're walking around in her pocket. Okay, let's see. This is her taking the camera. Um, let me, uh... I can send them to whoever. Yeah, can you send this? Yeah. This is her with them right there. There's her shoes. That's on her back porch trying to get into the window. Here's her walking up. Oh, she was leaning she over the porch. That one. Do you mind? Can I? I can't. It's kind of hard. Oh, sorry. Just, here. Here. just let her hold the phone, Bill. Oh, it's, it, it, here I can turn yeah. it. Oh. That Uber driver was probably shared, like scared, but he thinks the Uber driver was watching him. Like I don't think he could see. Do you have the one of um, yeah. her like hitting the van? That's when I that's when I woke up. I was like, I, she's touching your van. I took a video of it too. Let me see what I had. Right. Where was your guys' second one? There's the one above the door. Where was the second one? Oh, above that door. door. Yeah. Above which door? I mean, there's I this one, and then there's one above that door. Do you the see that door? black dot right there? Yeah. Oh, that was oh one. I see. I see. 
He has all the footage of everything. He's okay. just going to send it. Yeah, I'll send that. Oh. Here, here's one where she's walking away from the van. I, most of them are on the camera as well. What about the one you just took when I told you she was the one I, When I ran upstairs, she was already walking from the van. Oh, I seen her with something white, so I was assuming it was whatever that sewer cover I'll was. I'll be honest with you, the burglary thing is going to be kind of hard. But we got her for a whole bunch of other things. So she's not going to come bother me anytime soon. You Jeez. said the one camera picked up her trying to get in the window, though? It, it shows her by our, by my daughter's back window. She's the same joke. Okay. Yeah, she is. Oh. Here's she her in, see in see the back over. of the house. Like, this is right where, right underneath my daughter's window. But it only oh, had it her feet, unfortunately. Okay. And then the rest are in her pocket. This is her taking it. Is she like a friend of yours or ex friend or? I dated her. Dated her. We were we've been split up for the last year and a half. And I dated her and she's been nuts. I was here like last year at some point. This has been going on for fall. a year. In the fall. Yeah. yeah. You were and she's fall. come here and. In the fall is when it started getting really bad because that's when I realized she's she punched was out both of our front door junkie. windows. Our kids playing in the living room. Yeah. Like. That's what she came here for. She's threatened to call Children Protective Services. She's threatened to kill me. And you know, I told her I don't. I'm not worried about me. Someone coming after me, but I got my five and my seven year old with me. No, I get it. And if something happens, then like I got to protect them. No, I get it. So, and I don't know what to do. I've gone to your prosecutor. They say I have to take off work and go downtown and get a protective order. I don't know if I can get a protection order for my kids. Like, it's kind of one of those things where they have to. You have to catch her doing it. Well, I'll tell you what. You probably need a report number, right? I need a report number, asked. and then I need one for the van, too, if anything's wrong with it's that. It's all the same thing. Okay. It's all the same report. All right. Well, this will definitely help you okay. getting that protection order. Um, so is that what you recommend? Because I went down to the to police station. You can. And the bailiff said that whatever the police officer told me, like, that's not really, wasn't the best advice. And then they told me to go downtown because there's no active. They always said go downtown for a restraining order. Yeah. But they said we could do the no trespassing against both of the addresses, which we did. But she still comes here. Well, they said that you guys can't do anything unless there's an active case. No, they can't. They said that she can That's come here and you can said. call them because she has warrants and say I have camera of her here and you guys would as pick far her as up. A so I'm guessing order. the TPO. Mm -hmm. That's something you got to do through county. Okay. What you, you were probably told was your trespass or she's trespassed so next time you come here she comes here just she's getting arrested them. well that's what they said that's it. what happened today she's under arrest for that she's got a whole arsenal of problems right now so okay. you guys aren't going to see where do i while. send these to send do, what? do you want to put a number because she said to send them send the videos i have from the cameras or her taking them do you need but any yeah, yeah, so if you can send those to um you can send them to my work phone here you want to write the number down yeah just but I just want to make sure you want to prosecute for all. I do. I want to prosecute time. whatever I can. Because mm -hmm. this is going to keep happening. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, absolutely. I, like, I'm to the point where I'm right. She doesn't even care. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, you come here high and out of your damn mind and you don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, how? You know you can't be here. Because she's on drugs. Yeah, so she's, she's all cracked out of her mind. Your windows are closed. Just so you know. What windows? Window? Your, re your mirror. Oh, windows. the mirrors. I'm sorry, the mirrors. Okay. On both sides. They're both shattered. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm not mad about gonna, that because that's well, the only way this is going to happen. It's criminal damaging. So yeah. we'll that put like 300 do anything blocks, before. but when you get like a total payment, how much? The downstairs doors will be here too. Yeah. When you get a total payment, and she has a call us and we can update that one too. you're out X amount. You can sue her for, you know, your money back. Do um, you have any questions right now? No, I'll, I'll send this over to you, and I, I, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Sorry I was coming over there. I just, I... No, I, I didn't know who you I were. I wanted you guys to know that she had cameras in her pocket. Well, and I'm glad you said that. that I wanted to I talk to you the after the fact. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, because I saw them in the car. I thought it was the Uber guys. So. She's probably trying to hide them in yeah, there. Yeah, she was. So. She hit them under the seat, mm -hmm. so... Oh, she went back to the Uber's car, and then got out? I had that video out. of her going back to the Uber. He waited yeah. for her. And, oh, he and, told her to get out? Yeah. Yeah, the officer. Oh, the officer. I'm yeah. like, who? The Uber driver? The Uber driver no, sat Uber here the whole time she was doing all this and at the side of my van trying to break in and waited for her to come back. So if you guys got no questions, we're out of here, okay? I appreciate all it. All right, good luck to you. Yep. I need to speak to her. Okay. So can I please speak to her? I don't know. Probably not. Why? You're under arrest. Are you, f so I can't talk to her? Why? Well, you can't do anything you want while you're under arrest. You guys are such f***s. 
You know, I wanted to be a cop until I met you guys. That changed your mind? Yeah, because you guys are b You don't help people. All you do is f everything up. I need to speak to Jess. If I speak to Jess, I will cooperate. Why is that going to help the situation? If I speak to her, I will cooperate. If I don't speak to her, I will not cooperate. Cooperate in what way? You will find out. I need to speak to her or I will not cooperate. Why do you want to speak with her? Because I need to talk. She's my girlfriend. I need to talk to her. Well, I'm just trying to figure out. You said we don't help. I'm trying to figure out how to help you. Let me speak to her. Well, she's not here right now. Yes, she is. I just saw her. I don't know where she is. I literally just saw her walking down the thing. I yelled to her. She's at the house. Oh, resisting my bullshit ass. Resisting my bullshit ass. Yeah. I didn't fing resist.